The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, there was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Have you written a Dear John letter to God? Have you written a Dear John letter to God? I remember when I was young, I'd hear references on television shows and movies about a Dear John letter. And I asked my mom, what is that? And she explained it to me. She says, this is what can happen sometimes. When two people are in love and one of them, say, gets sent off to war around the other side of the world. And what can happen sometimes is that person, that soldier, that sailor, receives a letter from their beloved. And the letter says, I have found someone else. My father, who was on PT boats in World War II, he had a buddy on the boat who received a Dear John letter. And of course, he was crushed. Today's gospel has two parts. The first part, which is most of the parable, the gospel passage, is, is a wonderful, nice, interesting, colorful story from Jesus. And I hope you got the point. God will not forever delay in answering his prayers and fulfilling his promises. And you think, isn't that nice? And then comes the kicker, the last verse of the gospel. Jesus says, but when the Son of Man comes back, Will he find any faith on earth? Have you sent God a Dear John letter? You know, when you're young, when you're little, oh, do you love God? Yes, I love God. Do you trust the Lord? Oh, yes. Do you believe God loves you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then you grow older. And then you grow up and you go through trials and difficulties, prayers that don't seem to be answered. And at a certain point, you wonder if this God who seems so invisible, this God who doesn't seem to answer our prayers, can I still trust him? Can I still have faith in him? And along come other loves, other attractions, other devotions. And we say to God, I have found another. And because it's God we're speaking to, we don't want to be all that curt. We soften it up and we say, 
uh, we can still be friends. We say, let's, let's keep in touch. But we have drifted after other lovers, other attractions, other devotions. We have left God behind. And God never leaves us behind, even if it seems like he is so slow to hear our prayers, so invisible. This is part of why Jesus gives us this parable, is because it doesn't always feel like what he just says, God will hear us and speedily. God doesn't often seem speedily, and we wonder if he's out there. You know, we have lots of young people and children here today, and I'll bet you think that your parents and your grandparents, oh, the older you get, the more you get into religion, you know? It's just, yeah, I trust God. No. It can be very difficult to trust God as you get older, as you get banged around by life. But Jesus Christ wants to say to every one of us, young or old, don't give up. He is coming back. As surely as my father came back from the South Pacific, back to his beloved, my mom, so too the Lord is coming back. And if I could put it bluntly, the older you are here, the more you need to hang on. How tragic if someone who has believed in Jesus and followed the Lord and trusted the Lord, as they reach their old years, how sad and tragic if they give up on God. It happens all the time. And of course, we don't know when Jesus is coming again. He could come back tonight. He could come back during this homily. If we're lucky, he'll come back during this homily and cut it off. But even if we do live for more years, one day, one day we will meet the Lord. And the Lord will look at us face to face and say, I have been faithful to you. I have remembered you. Did you remember me? Jesus, help every one of us, young or not so young, to hang on, to trust that though you might seem to be so distant, so silent, so slow to answer our prayers, Jesus, help us to hang on for that wonderful day when we see you face to face and you say to us, I have never forgotten you. I have never been far from you. I am here. I am here.